Hey boys and girls, Mr. McCauley here. I want to talk a little bit about one of the important things that we see in fractions and that are improper fractions and mixed numbers that kind of go hand in hand. Let's talk a little bit about fractions first of all. Here's a simple number line, 0, 1, and so on and so on. Fractions really normally work in this region between the 0 and the 1 because typically a fraction talks about a part of a whole. Not usually the whole thing, but usually a part of a whole, and that is usually less than one. So this is really the sweet spot where fractions really do their best work. But sometimes, of course, you might be talking about a value, an amount, that's more than one. And in that case, fractions still work, but we kind of call them improper fractions because the numerator is greater than the denominator. We can write that fraction as an improper fraction, or we can also do something called mixed numbers. Let's check this out. Hey, let's talk about pizza. It's pizza time. So many times when people talk about fractions, they use pizza. Here we go. Um, this particular pizza we're going to talk about has eight slices. So because it has eight slices, we put eight in the denominator. And as the slices come in, you can see that it's growing. The fraction is getting bigger and bigger. Three eighths, four eighths, of course, is going to be now half a pizza. Um, now we got five coming and soon we'll have six popping in there. And, and we're, we're going around and filling up the pizza pie and the fraction on the bottom is changing. There's seven over eight and finally we have eight over eight. We have eight over eight and that of course is the same thing as one whole. We have one whole. Imagine that you're at your table and you've got your eight slices between you and your friends and everything. Uh-oh, what happens when more pizza arrives? Let's say another piece arrives. There it is. We no longer have eight. Um, um, we no longer have a number that's less than or equal than the numerator. Now we now have a number on top that's greater than the denominator. That's not normally the way fractions um, we think about fractions, so we call it an improper fraction. An improper fraction is when the top is bigger than the bottom, and it means you have more than one. So let's keep going with this scenario. Uh, here comes another piece. Now I've got 10 over 8, and here comes another piece, and now I have 11 over 8. So this, these are improper fractions, and of course I can go on and on and on. Let's do this one more time, and let's look at a mixed number this time. Okay, here we go again. So we've got 8, of course, that's the whole. One more comes, that is our improper fraction. But uh, there's another way I could write this. I could write this as one whole pizza, the big pizza on the left, that's one whole. And then the leftover fraction is one over eight. And we call that a mixed number because it's a mixture of whole numbers, the number one, and a fraction, one eighth. So these two guys go together. And you really kind of need to know how to take an improper fraction, <clears throat> turn it into a mixed number, and vice versa. Let's keep going a little bit here. Here comes another piece of pizza. And now I've got 10 eighths or 1 and 2 eighths. And here's another piece of pizza. Now I've got 11 eighths total. And if I want to write it as a mixed number, I can do it as 1 and 3 eighths. Let's talk about lunchtime with pizza. We also need juice boxes. Juice boxes, usually you can buy them. Three juice boxes comes as a whole. So we're going to talk about the whole this time is three juice boxes. A package of three juice boxes is the whole. Let's say you have lots of juice boxes. What is the improper fraction? We keep three in the denominator because they come in packages of three. Well, you know what? I happen to count this, and there was 13 over three um, uh, juice boxes. So the improper fraction is 13 over three. But how can we figure this out as a mixed number? Let's take a look. Let's start um, grouping them together in groups of three. And when I do that, it turns out that I actually have four packages of three. And then I have one guy left over. 
So if I was doing a mixed number for that, I could say four and one thirds. I have the big four there because I have four full packages and I have the one third in orange because there's one left over and it's got three in the denominator because a whole um, a juice box has come in packages of three. Let's keep going with this. This time we're going to use some, instead of using a lot of pictures, let's use a little bit of math this time. Um, let's say that uh, Chine has to order 87 slices for lunch, and we know that eight slices are in a whole. So what's the fraction of pizza I'm going to have in the building? Well, I'm going to have 87 slices over eight because they come in eight slices as a whole. But how many... How many um, full pizzas will that be? Hmm, let's think about that. 87 over 8. You know what? I can use some division to kind of work this out. If I have 87 slices, I need to divide that into groups of 8. So how many 8s go into 87? Well, I know that 8 times 10 is 80. So really, if I do that, that means I can get 10 full pizzas out of here. And that will use up 80 of the slices. And I'll have seven slices left over, and it's over eight because um, pizza comes in slices of eight in this example. Let's try to do the reverse. What if I had a number like five and two thirds? I have five packages of juice boxes and two thirds left over. How can I turn this into an improper fraction using some math? Well, I know that that five, that full five is really five packages of three. So if I multiply three times five, I will know that I have 18 pack juice boxes just from the big number five. And then I also have two left over. So I'm going to have to add those two. So if I have my 15 from the big five and I've got my two from there, that means I'm going to have 17 over three juice boxes, 17 thirds of juice boxes. Let's try that one again. Let's say I'm, I have um, some apples and I'm cutting them in half and I have 12 and a half. What is that in an improper fraction? Well, I know the 12, the big 12 is really two halves. Each, each full apple has two halves. So two times 12 will give you my 24. Plus I have the one left over, the one half from before. So 24 plus the one gives me 25 over two. So that's a fast way of converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. That's it, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this movie and good luck with your fractions.